Many of you who did not go to World Championships got to see a ton of robot matches, but there's a lot of other really cool things that take place at the World Championship. One of them is the Innovation Fair. So I took some time to walk around, meet some of the awesome vendors there. There was over 100 different vendors, scholarships, providers, and more. So here's a few of them for you to take a look at and check out some of the cool stuff at the Innovation Fair. So my name is Ashley Johnson and I manage Rockwell Automations Foundation. Um, and so we are a manufacturing and engineering company and so you will see us in automation spaces, you will see us, um, you can see our beautiful demo behind us, so the things you drink, the things you eat, the rides you go on. Um, we actually have a program that we just started two years ago called Rock in Action and so it's our global volunteer initiative to support our people in getting involved with missions and organizations like FIRST. Hi, I'm Kim Shoemaker. I'm the director of the Robotics Center at Kettering University. We're here at the first championship, uh, meeting a lot of students. We've been working our scholarship row and also the innovation fair where we have our robo thespian Henry. We also had a couple of our Kettering students here, They, uh, some of our females. They were upstairs yesterday supporting brilliant black builders where we're trying to increase the number of African-American students that participate in STEM careers. And then also with us I have Scott Travis. He is our director of specialty admissions and I'll just let him say a few words about all the great international teams he's meeting here. So the co-op program at Kettering University is mandatory. And what that means is uh, because it's built into our curriculum and it's a requirement for graduation, that means all of our students are welcome to participate in our co-op program and can start as early as their freshman year. Hi everyone, my name is Coach Cassie from FRC 8592 Newton Squared and I'm proud corporate sponsor from Booz Allen. At Booz Allen we are a hundred plus year old management consulting and technology strategy company and we have been supporting FIRST for over 20 years. This year we're doing something a little bit different. Um, as you see here with my colleague next to me, Alan Cyber, we are partnering with the University of Texas at San Antonio to integrate cyber security education into first competitions. We're doing that through a viral cybersecurity card game that is being played in regional uh, competitions and we're introducing it here at Nationals uh, this year. Here at Booz Allen we're empowered to be all of ourselves and just here at first to be empowered all yourself so I'm not only a scientist I'm also a dancer and here at Booz Allen I'm empowered to be myself every single day and that's what we bring back as Booz Allen sponsors to first. We empower the students to be all of themselves, and we are just so excited to be here. Hi there, I'm Ashley Gravely, and I manage the charitable investment and volunteer program globally for Novellus. Novellus is the largest producer of flat rolled aluminum in the world and the world's largest recycler of aluminum. We recycle more than 82 billion aluminum cans every year, so recycling. Um, is close to our hearts and we're pleased to also be the in-kind donor of aluminum and the first robotics kit of parts. So Novellus teamed up with our customer Ball and we are giving grants to first robotics teams um, to make their own can bot. So in the off season, um, it's a great way for new teams and also rookie members to gain skills and also champion STEM and sustainability. So we're really excited about this new partnership and teams are applying, teams um, are here from at Worlds uh, with their own can bots and so we inspire, we would encourage everyone who's interested um, to check out the QR code and um, talk, uh, talk to their teams about whether they'd want to build a CAN bot of their own. Well, there were over 100 exhibitors at the Innovation Fair this year, and hopefully if you were there, you got to see some really cool ones. And if you were, comment below, let us know which exhibitors really caught your eye, and we'll see you next time on FRC Updates Now.